getting started on this spicy nacho Dorito look. I'm gonna start off with Makeup Geek's Chickadee eyeshadow. Taking that on my MAC 224 brush. You could use any big fluffy brush. We're basically just gonna buff this in the crease back and forth, take it onto the brow bone, so it's gonna be a nice transition shade. Shade. I said that weird, huh? You know what I mean. All right, let's get started. This shade Chica Chickadee, Chickadee is a very neutral shade. It has a little bit of orange to it. It's actually perfect for like an everyday eye, depending upon what you're gonna do. But, of course, with this look, it's going to be very dramatic, so I'm just using it as a transition shade. Shade, I keep on saying that weird as fuck. Alright, so now that we got that chickadee all blended out up into the crease and onto the brow bone, I'm gonna go in with Max Orange, which unfortunately they discontinued, so sorry, but it's amazing, so I have to keep on using it. I'm gonna go in with my Morphe M514 to put that into the crease. Just use any orange, orange shade that you have, like the brightest orange that you have. And like I said, taking that in on the Morphe M514. Taking that in on the crease. Try not to take it up too high, okay? And because the bag has burgundy to it, I'm gonna go in with Makeup Geek's Bitten, which is actually becoming one of my favorite shadows if you love burgundy shades. If you guys have green eyes, burgundies are gonna be your best friend because they just pop on burgundy eyes. Burgundy eyes, what the fuck? On green eyes is what I meant to say, sorry. All right, so now that we have that burgundy shade, which is Makeup Geek's Bit and Eyeshadow, all blended out up into the orange, I'm gonna go in with the lid color, but before I do that, I'm gonna take my Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue by Too Faced, just on my finger, place it all on the lid. Now, I'm not using glitter, but the shadow that I am using is very, very shimmery, and I want it to pop, so using the glitter glue really helps out. So just place that all on the lid. You could use a finger or you could use a brush, totally up to your preference. Alright, then I'm going to go in with my Morphe eyeshadow in Dazzling, which is like a really pretty shimmery orange. See, it's looking like a Dorito already. All right, so taking my Kat Von D Trooper eyeliner, I'm gonna create a, a wing. Sorry if it is, it's really hard to film a wing liner. I'm gonna try my best though. This will be my first time filming it. So bear with me, I'll try to work out the kinks, but let's see how good I do. Just starting off at the end of the eye. Now that we got that wing to the desired length that we want, I'm gonna take it back in. It's okay if it's a little messy right now, I'm gonna go in with some powder and some concealer to clean it up. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire. But it's no use, cause you can't stop it from Before I continue on with the rest of the liner, I'm gonna go ahead and take my um, MAC 249 brush just to clean up that line. And this has just a little bit of my foundation on it. 
top liner all done, I'm gonna go ahead and put my lashes on off camera. If you wanna see how I apply them, you could check my previous video and I'll leave the link down below. I'll be right back to spice up this spicy nacho Dorito look a little bit more. I'm gonna create a double wing using my genuine orange chroma line liner from Mac Pro and I'm gonna take that in on my Morphe M250 brush. All right, so off camera, I went ahead and I did a double wing with an orange eyeliner. Sorry, I couldn't do it on camera. It was really hard to do the top, especially while trying to film. I'll try to get better at that and um, maybe I can do a tutorial in the future. However, being that I am just starting off, it was really hard. So bear with me while I get used to trying to film stuff like that, okay? So now that we have that wing all done, I'm gonna go ahead and buff out the bottom and I'm gonna use my orange eyeshadow from MAC and that's actually the name of it, orange. Um, like I said earlier, it is discontinued so I apologize for using that, but it goes perfectly with this Doritos spicy nacho look. So if you have any bright orange eyeshadow, go ahead and use that, you'll get the same effect. Taking that right underneath the lash line and buffing it out. So get the chickadee on your M4, M514, excuse me, and taking that on the lash line and just buffing it on out. Just softly blending it, that way it blends very easily. You don't want to blend away too much of that orange eyeshadow. And take that bitten eyeshadow. Bitten eyeshadow is that burgundy, burgundy that we used in the crease. Just to deepen it up just a little bit. All right, so now those should be all blended well together. Now, in the Doritos bag, it actually has a white lettering to it. However, I couldn't find my MAC Fascinating um, Eye Coal, so what I'm gonna do is go in with Risqué, which is the closest thing that I have to white. If you have white, go ahead and take that in the waterline because it's gonna blend perfectly with this look. All right, so taking that Risqué um, technical liner, taking that in the waterline, I'm gonna go ahead and do my other eye off camera, and I'll be right back. All right, so at this point, it should basically look like the spicy nacho Dorito bag just fucked your eyelids, I guess, basically. I know that sounds so graphic, I'm sorry. I can't help it, I'm so inappropriate. Anyways, to continue this look, I'm gonna go ahead and take that shade that we used on our lid, which was called, let's see, Dazzling. And I'm gonna put that in the inner corner, in the tear duct, as well with Sunkissed, both by Morphe. And I'm gonna go in with that Sunkissed shade first, pop it all, in the tear duct. So that way it opens up the eye, it looks more bright. See how it's getting that nice goldeny orange in there? Rather than just taking that orange all up in there. All right, so as soon as that inner tear duct is done, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with some mascara for my bottom lashes. This one's gonna be Max Mineralized Mascara. Which I don't know if you guys heard me say before, I really love this one for the bottom lashes. Just because it gives it that very soft, feathery look. It doesn't look like you're doing too much, you know? Alright, and if this isn't a spicy Nacho Doritos look, I don't know what the fuck is, because... I feel like this is pretty identical compared to the bag. Now, to finish off this look, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the lips. All right, for the lips, I'm gonna line with Bittersweet, which is Max Pro Longwear Lip Pencil. If you guys haven't used this before, I recommend it. It's one of my favorite shades. It's like a very chocolate burgundy. It's amazing, so go check it out. I highly recommend it. And these are non-transferable, waterproof, all that good stuff, so you could be doing all you know what while wearing this. Mm -hmm. If you believe it's true Baby, won't you let the light shine through For you, 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 for you. 
see, it basically looks like somebody just smeared caca all over your lips. I think it looks cute. So I kind of like to overdraw just a little bit, you know, give it that natural Kylie Jenner lip look. <laughs> natural my ass. Alright, so now that you look like a chola, we're all done. The look is completed. Just fucking with you, no. I'm gonna go in with ColourPop LAX lipstick and then I'm gonna mix that with Jeffree Star's Anna Nicole because if you look at the bag of Doritos, it has that nice gradient from burgundy to like a warm maroon color and those two mixed together makes the perfect color. So, I'm gonna take LAX by ColourPop around my lips and then I'm gonna take Jeffree Star's Anna Nicole in the center. I totally just overdrew that, but we're just gonna go with it. All right, so I totally fucked up on the top lip and overdrew it big time. If you have any ColourPop lipsticks, you would know that these shades are literally harder to remove than weight off of my body. And we all know that that's damn near impossible. So I just overdrew and I went for that, you know, big time Kylie Jenner, big Ange look. Fuck it, we're just gonna roll with it. To the fire, but it's no use Cause you can't stop it from shining through And just blotting our lips together to mix that shade. I'm gonna take just a regular flat brush to go over that just to make sure it's well blended. Alright, so now that we got that lip all blended out, I'm gonna go in with my Studio Fix powder and clean it up just to make sure it's really precise. Alright guys, so here is a completed look. Everybody always asks me why I get inspired by bags of chips and snacks and stuff like that. And honestly, how could you not get inspired by them? I mean, I know I'm a fat bitch and I get inspired by it because I love to eat it. But look at the colors on them. Like, that's a, the perfect color palette. Working with the Bud Light and Hot Cheetos, all that stuff, it's just amazing. And I encourage everyone to get inspired by things that are around them all the time. And because I'm such a fat bitch and I love to eat all the time, I figured why not mix up food, chips, all that nasty, junky shit for our bodies, and mix it up on my face. I, I think it looks awesome, personally. But that's just because I'm a fat bitch, maybe. I don't know. Anyways, this is the completed look. I'll leave all the products listed below and let me know if you guys want to see any other looks or anything else. Just put it in the comment box and I'll go ahead and try my hardest to read it. Thank you all for the love and support. Please make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you. God damn, bitch. The fuck? Do you want to get it together? Thank you. You know you're a fat bitch when you eat your inspiration. <laughs>